Hi guys, Steve here. If you've been scratching your head wondering what's the best setup for your Mixtrack Pro 2 for scratching, then you're in the right place. We're going to show you very quickly in this video how to do that. I'm a big fan of this controller and also the predecessor, the Mixtrack Pro. Uh, we used it a lot in the tutorials in our Scratching for Controller DJs course. Fantastic quality controller, really responsive jog wheels, excellent for scratching and I uh, can't recommend it highly enough for the price. So uh, before we move into the software, the only thing you need to look out for on the unit itself to make sure that you're able to scratch is the scratch button. That has to be switched on, which means that when the track is playing, you're able to grab hold of, manipulate and scratch the sound. So let's move on to the software then. We're gonna look at Virtual DJ, Tractor and Serato and show you all the settings you need to get set up for scratching. And then as always, we're gonna have a little demo afterwards. So let's crack straight on. First of all, we're gonna jump straight into Virtual DJ. Heading here to the config page, let's go straight to performances and get our latency nice and low as possible. I've got it at 256 here. That works pretty well for me. Here you need to have this scratch setting optimized for quality and master tempo here set to pure scratch. Next, let's go into the options section. And here you want your crossfader set to scratch, your jog mode set to vinyl. The jog sensitivity I find works best at about 50% and the other two sensitivities at about three quarters of the way across. Uh, the disc speed, I prefer 33 RPM. That's what works best for me. So with those settings all sorted, that's your virtual DJ setup for scratching. Let's now move on to Tractor. In Tractor, in your preferences pane, first of all, go to audio setup and get your latency as low as possible uh, without it sounding strange. For me, 256 is working great and obviously have your audio device set to the Mixtrack Pro 2. Next, head to Transport. Here, you want to make sure that the key lock mode is set to scratch. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna get some very strange sounds. Next, you wanna head to Mixer and just make sure that your crossfader uh, curve here is set all the way to the right to sharp. And that's it, you're all good to go in Tractor. Let's move on to Serato DJ. Lastly, we're here in Serato DJ in the setup pane here. Head straight to DJ preferences and set your virtual deck speed to 33. That's a personal choice, but I prefer it at 33. Then in the mixer section here, you wanna set crossfader, you wanna set your curve all the way to fast and the linear uh, button to be selected in crossfader. And lastly, in audio, as always, get your latency as low as you possibly can. I've got mine at 256. So sticking with Serato DJ, let's have a quick scratch demo on the new Mark Mixtrack Pro 2. Well, there you go, everything you need to get set up for scratching on your Newmark Mixtrack Pro 2. If you want to learn to scratch, we've got some free training available for you. If you sign up to our mailing list, the link is below this video where you'll get some free training videos and you'll be the first to know when the Scratching for Controller DJs course opens for enrollment. So subscribe to the channel, sign up on the mailing list, and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon for another video.